Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play Mac Warrior 5 Mercenaries! Tips and tricks and how to start. I've started over because I make too many mistakes and because I am such a nice person I don't want you to make the same mistakes I made and that's the reason I'm sharing my knowledge with you. First point of knowledge you should be aware of is Max. That's what the game is all about. Where do I get the better Max? you might ask? Or, well, not better, but heavier. It is as far away from the starting position as you can. The further you go away from the place you start, the bigger the Max will be. In the starting area, there will be light Max and some light medium Max. And the further you go, the heavier they get. So for example, if you get all the way up here where the clans will invade someday, you will find the Atlas, the awesome, the really heavy stuff. Please keep in mind that heavier does not necessarily mean better, so going right off there and buying a mat, although is possible, it is not recommended because you have a drop limit and you will only be able to buy one machine. Please also keep in mind that although the machines are not that much more expensive than the normal ones, for example, if you're buying an Urban Mac, it will cost you 1 million. If you're buying an Atlas, it will not cost you 100 million. It will just cost you about 6 to 9 million, depending on how heavily, heavily the machine is damaged. With that being said, it is not the same for pilots. Pilots depend on your reputation. Pilots are classified by their skill level, their maximum skill level, which is 60 for us and 43 for our companion Freeman, which means the total of their skills cannot exceed that number. And the maximum of each skill is preset. You cannot change that. Please keep in mind that your piloting skills should be at as high as possible and the weapon skills, well, you can give him the right max. So for example, we're now going instantly to Haynesville, that the area with the dotted lines is the area where you can buy stuff more easily or where there's stuff available and the red area is the way is the area you get missions please keep in mind that in the red area you have a penalty to repair cost and repair time in the beginning that is not that much first because your max are light do not take that much damage before they are destroyed and are easily repaired later on that will be a lot have a lot more costly and time intensive if you have the bigger machines that pack more armor and therefore lose more armor and the penalty will also be a lot higher. So in the beginning, you can travel around or do two missions in a row. And later on, you will have to leave the area for repairs. But then you will hopefully have some spare mechs. Before we do anything, any more missions than the starting missions, we'll get ourselves two more pilots and one more mech so that we can operate with a full lance. Why is that so important? Well, that brings us to combat effectiveness. The more machines we have, the more targets the enemy has. So for example, if we're running out alone with our um, Centurion, all the damage will get onto our Centurion and we're sure to lose an arm and a leg. But if we've got four machines and every machine get damaged a little bit, all we have is armor damage that is easily and cheap repaired. No component damage and will take out the enemy more quickly and therefore will take less damage ourselves. So we should try to bring as many machines to the field as possible. So if you have a contract with a weight restriction, try to bring four max all the time. Not two big ones, better three light ones or medium ones if possible. When we look at the machines, there is nothing here that we want. These are locusts. A locust is not a good machine because it has his weapons in his arms. First, that means if the mech get damaged and loses his arms, he is no longer able to fight and the pilot will punch out if he's got no weapons left. And second, the arms are very badly armored. So you regularly lose an arm. That's the reason you should, for example, go for the javelin, because the javelin has four medium lasers, but they're also in the torso. So if he loses the arm, it's not bad. Yes, the firing ankle is bad, but your NPC companions don't worry about that too much. Let's look what pilots we've got. The pilots are here not that good. It's 344. We're first looking for the piloting skills and then we're looking for the weapon skills. Ideal would be a pilot who has one concentrated weapon skill, for example, 811, and then very good piloting, sk piloting skills, because that means we put him into a mech that we have outfitted only with ballistics and the piloting skill work on every mech that you can get. So no luck here. 
So we're traveling there, hoping to find better stuff here. Yes, we'll be, we could have put our mechs into cold storage. That would have saved, saved us some money, but not that much. And you have to rearm the mech after that. So putting mechs into cold storage is not that big of a deal as you might think. Barracks, what do we have? We have a good pilot here, look at that. He's got four, five, six, that is good. And he's good with ballistics. So we'll take that one because that is a very high skill level here. We like that. The rest is sadly not that good. And the mechs they are sell are not good and the equipment they sell isn't that good either. Please keep in mind that this little white squares determine how good the weapon is. The more white squares it have or um, white dots it has, the better, basically. So let's go here. Yes, we're losing a little bit of money in the beginning, but that's okay because that will pay off later. If one of the trade areas has an icon, it could be a skull, then there is a hero mech, a special mech normally with Star League equipment, which is superior to normal equipment, um, or a mech like this one, and then there is a fully repaired mech available, like this one here, uh, which has a PPC in the torso, and two machine guns also in the torso. So that is per se a good mech, but it is a fast mech, and we need mechs that are durable, not necessarily fast. With that being said, what do we have here? We have a pilot with 362, that's not good. With 454, that is, well, with 561, that is even worse. Um, the only thing we might buy is this javelin here because he's got two SRM6s. You can say we don't have enough money, but we have because we can sell a lot of stuff. We don't need that, we don't need those. We don't need the LRM-10s. Um, we don't need the PPC because it's a normal one. We don't need all the jump jets. And all of a sudden we have more than enough money to buy that machine that we immediately buy. Perfect. Now we should get that thing on the road. So let's repair it. Repair all. And we put the jump jets out because our companions are not using jump jets at all. Max out the armor and you can see we have a beautiful machine. We transfer a little bit of the armor to make the mech more durable. We don't need back armor, we need front armor. So, perfect. With that being done, we should also keep in mind that we should arrange the other machines as well. Out with the jump jets. In with the max armor. We could even do more because at the moment we have a full ton of SRM ammo in our machine. But we don't need that. We don't need that much ammunition in SRM terms. What we need is just half a ton. So we'll buy half a ton on that and we'll buy half a ton of LRM ammo and you will know in a second why. Now techs from Black Pants Legion will kill me for saying that. but. We'll, do, we'll fight Klana style, because the engagement will be rather short. We don't need so much ammunition with us. Half a ton is more than enough. Perfect. And that will leave us with a lot of armor. Beautiful. Please keep in mind that no matter how much armor we slap on this thing, the armor on the arms will never increase 14. So this mech will always be badly armored on that part. Which is bad because most of his weapons are there. So, the legs are decently armed, the arms are not. And we only have seven structures, so all in all the Jenner is not a good machine. Although it packs a punch, it's a glass cannon. So, medium lasers, that's okay with us. We'll put the jump jets out. And max armor, beautiful. Let's put it strong enough so that the uh, front can take um, AC 20 hit. That's okay with us. That's beautiful. We still have some room left that will fill up with heat sinks because four medium lasers produce a lot of heat. 
So we still have the problem that we don't have another pilot. This would be good if his evasion skills were better, but they're not. So that is not the question. This one here would be good, but his total skill level is too low. Don't take someone who has a skill level below, I say, 20. Would be even better if it was higher. We're not buying the Cicata because the Cicata is not a mech to our liking. Our own mech per se isn't good because it's a Centurion, but we don't need that much ammo. Out with the ammo. Harvaton of LRM ammo is more than enough. We max the armor so that we can take a beating. And we'll get a beating, trust me. Put that down to 9. Put that in front. If we maneuver right, no one will be in our back. So we just have to worry about frontal attacks. Beautiful. Star map. We still need one more pilot. And the question is, where do we get that? So let's travel here. All our mechs are refitted. We just need one more good guy or lady to fill up the ranks. Now we have one javelin with... A oh, look at that. 29. 3, 5, 6. And 24 with 433. That here is not really good, but it will do the trick for now. So that is a total of 14. That is a total of 10. I'm not really happy with this one here, but because he has two high weapon skills and we actually need three high piloting skills. But it'll do the trick. It'll do the trick. Let's go to the market. What will they sell? The Panther, for example, is an excellent machine as an idea. However, it is not because his main weapon, his PPC, the weapon that stings, is uh, in his arm. And he loses that arm on a regular basis. So that is not what we want. With that being said, we are ready to go and to destroy and pillage as we like. And I'll leave you here and see you all next time. Bye.